can't believe we become like the Walmart of jazz guitars. And I'll be the greeter. Rolling back prices. We're blowing them out. We're blowing them out here. So anyway, uh, I guess, you know, you're lucky if you can find them. That's the hard thing. Uh, what do they say? Inventory. Inventory is more important. A friend of mine, Dan, who owned uh, California Vintage, said when he was young, when he was young, he had a friend that, uh, this has got lower, lower output, I think, Wes. He had a friend that uh, owned a pawn shop, uh, and uh, he always used to say, inventory, inventory, more important than money. Got to have inventory. That's true, you can't sell what you don't have. Now this is a real special guitar. Got my ears clogged up this morning. I just wrote a song. Did you hear that, Wes? Um, this is a Howard Roberts Gibson Custom. And uh, as you probably saw, uh, I had to, it came without a pick guard. It had gassed off um, and destroyed itself. But gosh, all the chrome is really, really nice on it. Even though the pick guard was missing. I don't, maybe it didn't gas off and they just took it off. But what is missing is the little thing that says Howard Roberts there. So you could probably get one made and put your own name on it. Let's see. That's what? Your fans. Your fan sucks. Is what? It blows. But I like this low rumble is awesome that we get with that fan. I love it. Really helps. Do you want me to shut it off? Yes. I really right. do. Or let's like before next week, let's move it so it's not blowing directly into the mic. All right. Ooh. I don't know why anybody would consider getting a 175 over this. It's beyond me. Even though it's built on the same format, all right, this is a 175 body basically with a hole in it and it's got parallel bracing. Um, so uh, the Epiphones are like an L4 format, so it's solid, but this is all laminate. Uh, but it's got a nice big arch to it and it's got the pickup as far away from the bridge as you can possibly get it. So that's important. It also, if you can see, can you see under the pickup there, you see how the body, uh, the um, the neck uh, is suspended over the body there. Okay, that allows the top to vibrate a little more. Um, so it, you got a tone control of, of treble and then a mid. Here it takes out the winds. And of course, all these guitars are strong with my set of custom strings. Let me turn that all the way off. Hear the difference? Okay, so this is one, uh, this is 25 and a half inch scale. Uh, 175, of course, is 24 and three quarters. Let's play a song with this tune, uh, uh, with this guitar. Um, 
How about... You, do you not have a song to play in mind? Because someone, Mark Larkins, asked, uh, if you have time, would you please play your version of Breezin? Oh, sure. Piece of cake, Breezin. Have Breezin. you heard that, that TV commercial that uses that? No, I haven't. What, oh, what are yeah. they advertising? I don't know. I can't remember what it was. Some maybe some prescription drug or something, but it's on like all the time. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, so I hear it just nonstop. Seems like every day. All right, this might be a little loud, Wes. I got it. something uh, finger style with it sure sure thing and like so I can so I can pull out this overhead mic for a second and you just hear the guitar alone okay all right all right all right let's do that let's play um, all right let's do okay let's do are, are you ready yep uh, uh,
That was Laura. It's got a nice, interesting tone, doesn't it? On the high end, it's a real uh, chimey. Let's see, I can roll that out. Nice sound. Let me play. Uh, let me play uh, something else. What? What is that? Uh, what does it sound like um, acoustically? Okay. Sounds like this. Or it could be like. Doesn't have a whole lot of sound, but it's. Uh, my ear is plugged up, so I don't know. I, I can't tell. What do you think? A little bit. Pretty much like every other arch top you got. Yeah. It's got kind of a throaty acoustic sound. Um, what was I going to play? I was gonna play this since it's kind of chimey. Ah, crud! How'd that go? Final thoughts on your guitar there? On this guitar? It'd be great. Who's that thing great for? Well, anybody uh, playing in a small group or big group. Uh, it's pretty versatile. I don't think uh, the feedback is much of an issue on this. I could be wrong. If you're using the right amp, you're, you're probably golden. Um, yeah, it's. I think it's good for, for any, any style, you know. Uh, John Bumgarner asks, oval hole versus F holes. Do you notice a difference there? Yeah, I dropped my pick in it. <laughs> that is true. Um, <clears throat> that does happen. I don't know. It, it affects the overall sound of the guitar. So it's, it's, it's kind of hard to say. It's just, you would think it would put out more so sound acoustically, but... I really can't tell. I really can't say for sure if it does or not. Uh, I guess we could compare it to that or something, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, the F hole, I got, I like it. I think it's a good looking guitar, to be honest. It is pretty unique looking, for sure. Um, so if someone wants to buy it, what do they do? Uh, you email me, Rich at Guitar College, and I'll 
I'll give you the price and rich at guitarcollege.com rich at guitarcollege.com all right uh let's see um what else we got here i'm looking for more questions okay i'm gonna uh, switch guitars for a second great because i want to show you this e this uh blonde guitar sitting up here <coughs> i had gotten this in a while ago and i it's been sitting on my bench, uh, on, on a hanger right above my bench for a few months now. And, um, you know, I, I did want to mention on this guitar, it looks like somebody had tried to pin the bridge down in the wrong spot and then they moved it. But there's two little, two little uh, things there, little bloopers there uh, but anyway it's got its fair share of little nicks and stuff but there is nothing structurally wrong with it at all it's got a actually the nick factor for a guitar that's from the uh, mid 70s it's pretty dang good and for being dark too hi rich here again i just wanted to say thanks for checking out my videos if you like it hit the thumbs up button and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and sign up for those notifications so you can see all the cool guitar videos we put out each week if you want more lessons right now i have hundreds of them at guitarcollegelibrary.com check out our low price monthly streaming memberships and if you want to learn jazz check out my course jazz guitar improv I take beginner jazz players and get them playing awesome solos on the fly. You'll see the link for the JGI course in the description below. Hey, thanks again for watching my channel. We'll see you again real soon with a new video.